Hey everybody, let's talk about battle camera mode. This can also be kind of considered like a helicopter hover view. Uh, there's a lot of options with this one. It's also very cool and it's got a lot of dynamicism. So, you know, I think people are going to find different ways to use it. Uh, I'm going to kind of throw in some videos later on on how I recommend that you should use it. Uh, but nonetheless, let's go through some options and first off what it looks like. So if you press F2, you will go into a mode where you won't, when you rotate the mouse or move the mouse, you'll see that you're, you're rotating the screen actually. Um, and so the default movement uh, that people do is left to right, but that's actually not what you want to do. Uh, the movement that you want to do more uh, likely is up and down uh, slightly. And then you use the keys on the uh, keyboard to move uh, the actual, you know, you can think of it as a helicopter, right? And what I'm doing is I'm using the middle mouse wheel to change the elevation. So this just changes the Y uh, location of the camera. And you can see that we're kind of lowering our elevation. Uh, and now we get to like a kind of neat little view like that. Um, there's also, so just to recap that, uh, the mouse uh, rotates the view. And the keyboard moves, uh, you know, uh, left, right, forward, back and the middle mouse is the elevation there's also one last thing where if you left click you get an instant zoom uh, and that's pretty cool when there's like something really dynamic you want to create a real dynamic shot um, it also kind of lets you zoom out real quick like that if you wanted to so it's kind of um, more of a, a, a touch and go kind of thing so i'm going to go back to the default camera here and look at some of the options of uh, default distance. That's similar to the other video on default camera mode. That's the distance that uh, you enter when you enter that camera mode uh, field of view. This one we'll talk about. Um, so we'll just amp it up to the max there. And this just changes how wide the lens is. Um, and we'll go back to battle cam and you'll see that um, because our distance is very far, actually, it makes it difficult. So when you change the field of view, you want to change the distance because it drastically changes the characteristics of the camera. Um, so I'm not sure if you can tell much difference there. What we'll do is lower the distance to about 10, and then you guys should be able to see maybe 15. You guys should be able to see kind of see there's there's kind of like a stretch effect going on like a almost like a fisheye lens so what it does is it makes the farther things look smaller more quickly um so i like i like a higher field of view because it feels like you are kind of in the unit headspace um although it might not be as visually appealing in the sense that there might be more visual artifacts and that's why i set the default to um the other end of of it of 35 because that's a safe play ways to that's a safe place to play um you know it looks pretty much like a top-down view maybe with just a little bit of um added depth and uh it's easier to control as well so if you're if you're really adventurous definitely play with field of view um because you can get some cool stuff with that uh movement damping and edge friction i'm not going to cover because i cover it in the default camera video Elevation change is the middle mouse button, so that's how quickly uh, you go up and down. Mouse look speed is, uh, you can think of it as sensitivity, rotation sensitivity. Uh, so the higher, uh, the more sensitivity. Uh, 0.5 is pretty good. I don't think you really want it much more sensitive. Um, keyboard movement is the same as the uh, other camera mode, so uh, the default camera mode. So I'm not going to cover this because it's covered in that video. And what we can cover is visual effects. So what I'm going to do is just get rid of all of them. And I'm going to rewind this replay so we get something to look at. And uh, so I'll hit FT now. And you'll see that it looks quite different. It's a lot cleaner. Um, however, because the terrain generation and, and certain sprite rendering isn't perfect, um, you know, you might, it might be just not, not that great. Uh, to, to have it as this this clean of an image um scan lines uh just uh, adds the uh 
kind of that TV scan line effect. Kind of like that you're looking through like in a, a Protoss Observer. Tone mapping is a color grading and it gives it somewhat of a cinematic uh, darker tone. Uh, I kind of like that to kind of, uh, you know, kind of change the mood of the of the view. Some people might not, might not like it, so you can disable it. Um, although you will have to enter and, sorry, exit and then re-enter to have it disabled. And then finally, uh, what I really like is depth of field. Um, the There is a small issue with depth of field, uh, but first let me explain what it is. As you can see further on the back, it gets blurry, kind of like a cinematic uh, visual effect. And closer up, uh, you have, um, you know, uh, less, uh, less blur. Uh, the only issue with the, the depth of field is that on the edges, uh, you'll get the blur. And then also on flying units, um, if they're at the edge, you'll also get the blur. So that's just a visual uh, artifact and bug that is present right now. So just be aware of that. And if it's, you know, I find it too distracting. So I actually turn off depth of field. Uh, and then, you know, hopefully we'll get some improvements there where, where those artifacts go away. Uh, but if you like it and, uh, you know, you don't mind those uh, little issues, then go ahead and use it. Um, there's also focal length, which determines basically uh, the size of the focus area. So the smaller the size, the more blur there will be because uh, the focus area will be smaller, right? Um, focus scale is how much blur, blur quality. Um, you know, that's a performance thing. 240 is pretty nice, 120. Uh, is faster, but it, you, you'll notice uh, the quality difference. Um, sc and scanline opacity and scanline density. Um, these you can tweak and kind of uh, let's let's put opacity to forty, and you'll see that it's much more obvious and probably a little too uh, distracting. So the default, uh, I like that that level. Um, and then density is just a. Uh, you know, you can change the uh, size of, maybe that's a little extreme, change the size of the uh, the scan lines, uh, if that's an effect that, that you want. Um, I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and it also, you know, helps to smooth over some of the, the terrain uh, imperfections. Um, but if that's not interesting to you, you don't have to use it. But some camera modes play nice with each other. Uh, so with the follow, if you press F2, the battle cam will respect the follow, so you can follow uh, the same unit. Um, so that's pretty cool uh, with drops and, and shuttles and stuff like that. All right, that's it for battle cam. I'm excited to see what you guys do with it.